1.5 solving algebraic equations with multiple multiplication and division. I can solve algebraic equations with multiplication and division. Excellent. Thank you, Layla. Um, we talked about two properties today, the multiplication property of equality, which states if you multiply one side of the equation by a number, you must multiply the other side. Sure. So in this situation, we had 3 plus 2, then we had 5, right? We multiplied this by 2, we multiplied this by 2, and they both ended up being what? Yes. Division property of equality states that if you divide one side of an equation by a, a number, you must what? Do the other side by the same. same number, as long as it's not a zero. Forgot about that part, right? So if I have 3 plus 2 and I have 5, I'm going to divide this all together by 5 to get 1, and I'm going to divide this by 5 to get 1, and that's the division property of equality, right? Jake, I'm up here. Eyes are up here. Okay, and then we put all of this property of equality into practice. So number 2, practice. First of all, on question number three, what is my ultimate goal? To get the variable alone. To get the variable alone. How am I going to get x alone? What do I need? What is being done to x right now? Multiply. It's being multiplied, right? So how do I undo multiplication? Division. And if I divide to get the x alone one side, I must. And then you just clean it up and get x equals eight, right? Okay, number four. The black writing is my problem. So 1 fifth x equals 20. What is being done to x? It's being multiplied. So how do you undo multiplication? So I'm going to rewrite this problem. 1 fifth x equals 20. And you said to undo multiplication, you divide, right? But when you divide by 1 fifth, what do you notice? You can't what? You can't divide fractions. So instead of dividing fractions, what do we do? Multiply by the? Inverse. So when dividing fractions, so we're basically taking this 1 over 5 and we're flipping it and it's 5 over 1, right? So now we're multiplying by 5 over 1 on one side and we're multiplying by 5 over 1 on the other side. Cancel, 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 cancel. What are we left with? X and then 20 over 1 times 5 over 1 is 100. Okay, number 5, no different. Two-thirds x. You divide by two-thirds, you're like, wait, you can't divide fractions, can you? No. So when dividing fractions? No. So this is the second, two-thirds. We flipped it, and it became now three over, and we multiplied, right? And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. Number six. What's my goal here on number six? What do I want to do? What does my friend Tiffany say I need to do? So what is being done to the variable? What is being done to it right now in that problem? No, what is being done to the variable? It's being divided. So how do you want to do division? So what should I multiply by? 50 over 1 to get rid of this 50, right? And if you multiply the left side, you need to multiply the... You guys get the idea? Questions you can ask yourself. Number one, what do I need to do? Get the... Okay, what is being done to the variable? It's question number two. So what is being done to the variable? Say that out loud. What is being done to the variable? And once you determine what's being done to the variable, you just do the opposite to get rid of whatever's being done to it. Got it? Yeah.